Agent Lustra, Agent Number Five Four 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 Eight, here at your request, sir. At ease, Agent. Take a seat. Sir. Agent Lustra, please call me Comrade. Comrade. Agent Lustre. Hmm. Schooled at Loretto Grammar, uh, Cambridge 2003. PhD Analytics and Operations. MOD 207 to 209. British Naval Officer, M Squadron Captain. Hmm. SIS. And now International Defence Agency. Hmm. Do you consider yourself successful, Lustre? My life may not have been filled with complex trauma and unfortunate experiences. Yes, the schools I went to were elite, and my rise through the ranks to some may seem extraordinary. But to say I was successful would be the same as saying I'm happy and settled in what I've done. My greatest achievements are yet to come. My past does not define me. I improve and evolve. I could thank my tutors and comrades and say the success was shared, but I know through your training that you'd know that was a lie, and I won't insult us both. Do you see the IDA as your final appointment? Will the IDA fill the void yet to be filled? Do you think it will? You've proven yourself in the field. Um, your international work with our sister agencies in theatre was... was good. Um, your deployment to Libya during the Arab uprising was, uh, was satisfactory. There was the case of the package that was deployed to South Africa, which was rather unfortunate. Um, but your tenacity, the tenacity you showed in taking out the high principle that was textbook IDA. Textbook. Comrade, I invited you here today to offer you senior management. Of course, if you do decide to accept, you will be given level five security clearance with IDA, and I'm sure you realise what that entails. Death and dishonour is the only exit from IDA. I suppose dishonour equates to death. I'm in. I was always in. My journey through the IDA was always agent, senior management and director. I strive for excellence. I excel. Devoting my life to country, service, humanity and to you, director. Today, comrade, you are senior management. Today you will be presented with the truth. This could be the day, the worst day that you have endured. All that you believed in, heaven and earth destroyed. We have decoded the Voynich manuscript. Impossible how? I suppose monsters, aliens, the earth is flat, 1% eat children is all true in the manuscript. The truths that we discovered in the manuscript are the reason why we need to keep the world from them. Religion and science is what the world needs now in order to maintain the equilibrium. The verity of life's sheer existence is in the balance. The book presents us with the paradox of eternal life and the meaning of God. We need to keep them in the dark, away from the light. The greatest minds have tried to decode Voynich's manuscript for six decades. Impossible how? Greys, Nords, Reps, they could all be true. We had our moment, we had our burning bush moment. The Antarctic Treaty of 1990 was cancelled. There was a mission, IDA. Um, we made contact. 
with with Halno. From what it said, um, throughout our history, we've always referred to them as, as Nephilim. He said that he, he came from beyond the wall, that he was ageless, timeless, to be free of to be free of age, wheeling the capacity to interface with any language seamlessly. The closest being to a god. We are the IDA, International Defence Agency, not the Conspiracy Fantasy League. Is this some sort of joke? What are we doing here? Three years in the agency. 18 months active ops, four months in selection here in the Antarctic for senior management and yourself, director, to tell me that gods are amongst us. No! I am telling you all 54 countries agree. We hold the power with religion and science and technology. We control the media. We control the truth. We shall control the masses. We retain the authority. Comrade, I deal with analytics. Relevant, reliable data. What you're saying is nonsensical. The secret to immortality. The physical embodiment of God from beyond the wall. I can't believe what you're saying is sincere. Comrade, you are everything we need to defend the plane. Halner's entire existence clashes with our rhetoric. Pandemonium would ensue. We continue with the agenda. They will stay in the abyss. Stay